Hello friends, now we see problem 1 sub question 4 which is also based on theorem 1, theorem 2, theorem 3 of chapter, sequence and series. The problem is 60 the whole square minus 59 the whole square first bracket complete plus 58 the whole square minus 57 the whole square second bracket complete plus 56 the whole square minus 55 the whole square third bracket complete plus going on and the last bracket is plus 2 the whole square minus 1 the whole square the bracket is complete and for this question we have to find so so now let's see the solution the solution is very simple first of all we collect the positive terms in one bracket and the negative terms in other bracket by taking negative sign common so we have 60 the whole square plus 58 the whole square plus 56 the whole square plus going on and finally the last term is plus 2 the whole square so these are all positive terms that we write in first bracket then the remaining terms that minus 59 the whole square minus 57 the whole square minus 55 the whole square and going on and last term is minus 1 the whole square so from that we take minus sign common so inside bracket we have 59 the whole square plus 57 the whole square plus 55 the whole square plus going on and the last term is 1 the whole square and then bracket complete. So that part is equal to now if you observe the terms which are present in the first bracket they are all even terms so that can be written as summation i takes value 1 to 30 2 r the whole square then minus and if you observe the term in second bracket they are odd so for them we write summation r takes value 1 to 30 and for all term we write 2r minus 1 whole bracket square so now we take summation common so we have summation r takes value 1 to 30 in bracket 2r the whole square minus second bracket 2r minus 1 the whole square and then whole bracket is complete so that equal to summation takes value r takes value 1 to 30 if we simplify the bracket then we get 4r square minus 4r square plus 4r and then minus 1 then cancelling the term 4r square plus and 4r square minus so we have summation r takes value 1 to 30 4r minus 1 The next step will be e is equal to summation 4r i takes value 1 to 30 minus summation 1 i takes value 1 to 30. So 4 is a constant term we write outside the summation notation. So 4 into summation r i takes value 1 to 30 minus summation 1 i takes value 1 to 30 
4 into now for summation r we write the formula that n n plus 1 upon 2 and for summation 1 we write formula n now present case here the value of n is 30 so put n equal to 30 the next step will be is equal to 4 into 30 bracket 30 plus 1 whole thing divided by 2 minus 30 so that gives 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 now 30 into 2 we get 60 into bracket gives 30 plus 1 that equal to 31 and then minus 30 so 60 into 31 we write 0 as it is 6 ones are 6 and 6 is a 18 minus 30 we write as it is now 1860 minus 30 so that gives answer 1830 so therefore 60 the whole square minus 59 the whole square plus 58 the whole square minus 57 the whole square plus 56 the whole square minus 55 the whole square plus going on up to the last term that 2 square minus 1 square so that equal to we prove that 1830 that is 1830 so this is the required solution for the given problem. Thank you.